Welcome everyone to the King of the Palace. I'm your host, Dave Matala. And this week we have returning champ, Aaron Fontaine. Aaron, welcome back, kid. Thanks for having me back, I appreciate it. So, um, taken after the family tradition, champ, did you get a lot of feedback? He gave me a lot of feedback, just a lot of positive energy, a lot of good advice he gave me, and just uh, just to keep your head in the game. Just you know, now that you won, you just gotta do the best you can each match, and you don't expect to win every match. You just gotta give it your all. That's what I'm gonna do today. Just give it my all. That's all anybody can ask. And now you have to face a whole new field of opponents. And first up, Casey McCool. Casey, welcome back, kid. Thanks. Thanks for having me back. I'm I'm really happy to be back again. Well, you have a tall order. Yeah, and the I reigning saw Aaron champ bowling in the in the qualifier. He he bowls one hell of a ball. Really good bowler. I'm looking forward to a nice clean match and a really good match. Hopefully, uh, one of us comes out as the winner. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the champ, Casey McCool. Let's get to the action. You are watching the 80% handicap world ta tag team world title. World title, David. Uh, the re returning champ is Aaron Fontaine. And first up on alley three is the number four seed, Mr. Casey McCool. First ball, nice ball in the one three pocket. Leave him one of the six Mongols. It's a two, four, five. Ladies and gentlemen, you hear the hearing the legendary voice of King of the Palace, Mr. Stephen Bronchuk. And there's no Dennis Nuzzo, so you guys are stuck with me. Miss Amber May. Welcome Hawaii. aboard all. How are you, Amber? I'm good. How are you, Stephen? Yeah. No. Casey opens up with a spare. Casey's average is a 105. He's been bowling for 25 years. His high single is a 155. His high trip is a 400. Fills the spare with a four. Leaves an ugly mess for a spare. Catches the head pin. Takes off the three, the four pins on the left, leaving the, the six and the ten for a ten box. And... Eight nope. box. And eight box. What do we got, Amber? A two, 24 after two. No, you got, can you let me in a minute? Oh, I'm sorry. You're not I'm even not, anywhere in the ballpark. Yeah, Up now on Alley 3, the returning champ, Aaron Fontaine, a.k.a. Swag. He's been bowling for 19 years. His average is a 119. His high single is a 178, and his high triple is a 450. He is the grandson of Mr. Tom Olsta. First ball delivery, found the head pin. And Leaves he a diamond. And after two for Casey, he's sitting at a 33 because he's getting 11 pins handicap per string. Tough shot here, Amber. Tough shot. Oh. Yeah. It's two. Leaves the two, five for a 10 box. Every pin counts. And he's got it. Okay, nice, nice opening box. Aaron going over to lane number four. Box number two, string number one. Aaron's home lanes are bogey lanes. He also bowls on the Sunday night mixed. His favorite shot is the 710. His least favorite shot, of course, is the spread eagle. A little wide right, leaves the four horsemen left. One, two, four, seven on the deck with a piece of wood up against the end. Should not be a total factor at all. I like the four horsemen. Then again, last time I said that, now I haven't hit it since. <laughs> well, Amber, which way are you going to play this? Are you going to split the one, the two, or go the outside of the head pit? Just like that. Just like that, you split two. it. Run the ladder. Split the one, the two. Aaron gets his first spare. No, Casey McCool up on lane number three. Box number three, string number one. Conventional right-handed bowler, three steps and then the drop. Casey McCool. Uh, Bowls on the Monday Night League and the Wednesday Night Mixed League. Oh, buries it and leaves the 510. His favorite shot is the Four Horsemen, and he does not have the least favorite shot. 
Well, he's shooting the, the Woolworth here, people. The 510 split. Is he going to go for the wood? He did. And he made it. Oh, what a nice shot. Not the, not the way I would have gone at No, I wouldn't have either. I it wouldn't is have either. It is. I agree. Beautiful, beautiful shot. Curly working <laughs> on a spare. One take nine at the oh, no. Right through no, the middle of no. the heart. How does that happen, people? <laughs> Gets <laughs> the head pin. <laughs> Not only does he get a spread eagle, he gets a spread eagle with a with a claw. These are two, four, seven. Oh my goodness. Three, six, nine, and ten. Took out the left side. He leaves the uh, three, six, nine, and ten. But Amber, you threw the ball sixty feet down the alley. You hit your rock and you get oh nice ten box. Very nice recovery. Want to give a shout out to our sponsors, North End Mazda Subaru and Lindbergh Mass. Visit buynorthend.com or visit them in person and see Marty Babineau as an excellent sales staff on a new or pre-owned Mazda or Subaru. Also, go to YouTube, type in, watch We Suck At Bowling and TMI. Good friend George do parodies on Candle Pin, Duck Pin, and Ten Pin. He also does uh, videos on Minecraft and Baldi's basic and education nice and learning. Nigel. And also, he's just started playing the uh, arcade one-ups. Let's play. Um, I know my daughter's a, uh, a fan of, of his on a lot of the stuff that he does. Um, and I know in around Christmas time, the last, last king of the palace, he actually donated a Pac-Man one-up game. Who carried it out of here? Who was the winner? I forget. Oh, I don't remember. Uh, yeah. the ta one of the tag team champions. Yeah. 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 Aaron gets another spare. Two in a row. Showing Casey he's here to play. Lane number four, box number four, string number one, and he's got the head pin. Oh, oh my goodness. Wiggle, wiggle. Wow, he leaves the 9 10 with a whole bunch of junk in front of the deck. This is going to be a tough pickup. Casey McCool buried the ball and left the spread eagle plus one. The, Aaron buries it and leaves the 9 10. What's going on, dude? He's going to have to aim Where for you that going? piece of wood on the, on the left. left. Where are you going, Amber? <laughs> Right there. Oh, wow. Now see, I would have went nice the other pickup. side. He's got a turkey, people. Three marks in a row. I was just going to say, what's that called? Yeah. Any combination of spares and strikes, three in a row, is a turkey. Casey up on alley three. Gobble, gobble. Um, when Casey is not bowling, he's a cashier at Goodwill, and he also enjoys bowling, golf, and video games. Well, a little wide left on that one. Got away from He threw the ball in the ocean on that one. Yeah. I think he rushed a little bit. He just told himself to calm down, slow down a little bit. Wow. Yeah, got a little, little, little knock knock. Got to throw the strike ball to get the score. Oh, wow. Wow. Chop, chop. Just chopped Ooh. out the two. Oh, my goodness. Leaves a cluster bunch. Oh, boy. You didn't want that. Wow. PC. In the ocean. A three box. Well, that's when you get to set it and forget it, man. Yeah, that's what that's good Happen, oh, speaking happens of, to everybody. Yep, it yeah. does. A good friend, Dennis, our other partner, not, yep. in the, not with us today. No, nope. Dennis, Dennis is um, at home with his family because it is his daughter's birthday. So happy birthday, Haley. Yeah. Yep. Dennis, we miss you, brother. We do. Want to give a shout out to our New England Patriots, who uh, next weekend will be in the Super Bowl facing the Rams. So by the time you guys see this, the Super Bowl will be over, and hopefully we're champs. And if we're not, I bet it was one hell of a game. But I'm not jinxing nothing. Give us a quick score, David. Patriots game this week. Oh, um, my prediction? Yeah. Um, I think it is going to be 38-28 Patriots. I go 24-20 I go Patriots. Amber? I, I'm not sure. I'm going after... Six boxes. Casey sitting at 66. Ooh, look at this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. oh, oh head fell. Oh, okay. Short Wrong way. Why didn't it fall the other? Now, what's he got? Three, he's got three marks in a row. He is sitting with three marks yep. in a row. He's going for four in a row, Amber, and four in a row is what? This is all set up, this man. This is called just an take, eagle. Just take a little off of it. And yep. oh, right through it. He had a piece of bond wood right in front of the five pin. Better known as a plank or... Whatever. When, oh, whatever. when Aaron's not bowling, he's a finish worker at Vibram. Uh, he also enjoys traveling and hanging out with his friends. Oh, he's got four marks in a row. He's got an eagle. Let's see what happens. Oh, nice ball. Oh, oh split. look at this mess. There's a former aces and eights right there. But he leaves the two, four, five, ten, uh, six, ten, sorry. Oh, beautiful, beautiful hit. Look at this, people. 
Disappointing. Well, slide it over. See what happens. Oh, nice almost. Miss. Almost. Well, he's got to shoot the six and the ten to get the spit. The ten blocks. And he did. But after six, Casey's sitting at 66, and Aaron's sitting at 92. What's that, like a 26-pin deficit damage? Yeah, I'm yeah. looking into that now, yeah. but Casey's really got to... Turn it on. Yeah, he's definitely... Well, he's got to start gotta off with a mark here. Box, what are we in? Box number seven, right? Seven, yep. Yeah, lane number three for screen. Oh, there you go. Ooh, Good look at this. Wow. <laughs> that is what? The 8, 9, 10? Got a how does that happen no. in the background from Josh Eight, Wool over nine, there? 9, 10, buries the ball in the 1 3 pocket and leaves this mess. With a jersey barrier in front of the 9, just leaning yeah. up against the 8. He's going wide to the oh. A little bit, little bit too far wide. Uh, Buried the ball and leaves three back pins, Amber. How does that happen? I have no idea. Oh, wide left. Oh, he's got to start to mock now. <laughs> Anything can happen. Anybody yeah, it's can only, turn it's on only the first game. First game's not over yet. And you were right, it was plus 26 at the time. A uh, little wide left there. Leaves a mess. One, three, five, six, eight, nine. Right. Ooh. This is even. This now, is what setup is this? This is I weird. don't know. The one, five, uh, eight. No, this is the flux capacitor, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, and for the first time ever. Oh, I did not know that, David. I called it the flux oh. capacitor. The one I almost got it, too. Oh, I got to put that in my notes. One, five, eight, <laughs> nine, David? Yep, is the flux Thanks. capacitor. <clears throat> Up now on Alley 3, the returning champ, Mr. Aaron Fontaine, a.k.a. Swag. Six-time state champion and the grandson of Tommy Ulster the 2015 ICBA champ. Oh, buries it, and look at this. Five, nine, 10. It's got a lot of wiggles out there. Yeah, I'm going I'm going way low left on this to the left of the red line in front of the five pin. What do you think, David, Amber? Um, I'm gonna go right at the five. Yep. So I sweep it all over. Oh, he went the front right of it. Right there. Okay. Aaron knows better than us. Five out of six boxes with mine. Excellent, excellent camel pin ball one. Five I out of seven. Pardon? Five out of seven boxes. Five out of, oh yeah, I forgot the first one, right? Thank you, Amber. Okay, here we go. Boy, is he a concentration ball one. Man, he wants that head pin and, oh no. Wide left. Wow. He's got a good break Still though. Look at this. this, look at this. Six on the drop. David, quickly, before I forget, how did you come up with flex capacitor? It looks just like the flux capacitor <laughs> out of the movie Back to the Future. Oh, I can't help you. Never seen the movie. Okay. Okay, and you're going to make fun of me for movies I haven't seen. Well, he's old. So are the I, movies. No, I could have. Uh, <laughs> oh, 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 leaves I'm the old. finger and Oh, God. he's old. People, if that ball came back and hit the head pin, it would have counted. Rules of candle pin ball one. He's old, Amber. The last movie he saw was Casablanca. But I'm young, and you make fun of me for movies that are old that I haven't seen. Casablanca. The black and white version. After eight, Casey's sitting at 83, and Aaron's sitting at 117. Casey really has to get some pins back here. Yeah, Aaron, the returning gotta, champ, is just laying, laying wood to he's got a the thir challenger. 34-pin lead right now. Oh, that don't help. Uh, David, quickly. Yes, sir. Um, that last box. Yeah. He had a piece of dead wood next to the ten. Yep. Then the ball was there. Ooh, then right he had the another wall. piece of dead wood in the in the channel to get a, Yep. By rules, shouldn't that ball have been taken out? It should have been. Right. Okay. That's what I thought. But since I'm by myself. Yeah, I know. No, I know. Why they have to take the ball on? But uh, you, interference, but so they don't want to damage the ball. Ball, oh, right. The pins you don't care about. Basically. No, it's the. I mean, people spend a lot of money in the bowling balls. They don't want to see him. It's a bowling ball cost more than a pin. Yeah, not Is by much though. Not by much. Okay. No, it all depends on the kind of bowling ball. Pins nowadays go for like three dollars and thirty-three dollars or something like that. A pin. A little help there. Threw the ball in the ocean. Leave the one, two, nine, ten with a piece of wood up against the two. He's gonna get the hit. No, missed it. He's just off. It's game one. Anything can happen. Want to give a shout out to our sponsors, North End Mazda Subaru. Visit buynorthend.com or visit them in person and see their excellent, excellent sales staff 
on a new or pre-owned Mazda or Subaru. Or go to YouTube, type in Watch Me Suck at Bowling and see my good friend George do parodies on Candle Pin Bowling, Duck Pin Bowling, and yes, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, 10 please. Pin Bowling. <laughs> Yo, he also does uh, uh, videos on Minecraft and Baldi's Basics in Education and Learning, and also arcade one-ups, like play games. Little, little light on the right side. He's had so much Amber, those, Amber, those are games from when I was a kid. I know what they are. David, when did that movie called Back to the Future come out? In the 80s. <laughs> oh, can't help you. Okay, here, Aaron. <laughs> We're not friends anymore, Steve. Uh, oh. So then why am I still your friend if you haven't seen The Goonies? Ooh, if the whole world knows. Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. I said Amber has never seen The Goonies. I bought her the movie for Christmas, and she still has not watched it three months later. Christmas was last month, you dummy. Well, the time this gets aired, it'll be three months. <laughs> but I will watch it by then. Maybe. Okay, so now you guys have to listen to the next, like, show from February. Aaron last last block of Alan Fontaine oh. cranks it. Head pin. Oh, look at this. Okay, you got a break. Last, okay. month, last month, Dennis had did a Facebook poll of what was coming up next. And I believe on February 23rd, the consensus was it's going to be the King of the Palace Scratch world title. Oh. As Richie Myrick shakes his head. And oh, oh God. very difficult spare with that wood there. Two. He's got six out of ten are spares oh. in this one game. Well, well, he's just building up a huge ass Boy. lead. Boy, did I swear on You did a little bit. That's okay. Sorry, Travis. Travis Falk working hard for us to OEPD as oh. he always does. There's only one OEPD. And there it and there he is. And the fill will wide off left. To the, off to the left. left. Takes out five. five. Leaves the one, three, six, four, seven. Fill of five. What do we got, Amber? After the first game, Casey's sitting at 100, and Aaron is sitting at 141. That's a huge hole that Casey's got to dig himself out of, man. That's a, it's a 41 pin lead for Aaron. And Aaron gets back up. He starts this one off on lane three. Veteran candle pin bowler, Aaron Fontaine. Would you say, David, he bowls out of what? Sherburn? He bowls out of bogey lanes. Bogey, yes. He could have you. just looked at a shirt. He can't oh, see that far. I can't <laughs> see that far. I'm getting old, Amber. Oh, Ooh, that's not, a, that's oh, not as good of a start. One. First one of our match. The dreaded half worcester. Very, very difficult. Got to just... Throw the spare ball, strike ball, and then he oh, did it. Oh, my goodness. It's always pretty when it goes. What? Now, he played the in, the outside of the head pit on that one, people. He didn't split the one and the two. He played it, and he got the spare. You know, actually, in qualifying, he actually did the same thing, but he he put the ball in the hoop twice. Oh, no, really? Yep. Yeah. Boy, is he some bowler. Is it the first time he's ever been here? No, he's a returning champ, man. Oh, oh. Yeah, was, well, Steve wasn't here. I wasn't here. For that. Yeah, I wasn't here for that. David. Four, four drop on the spare. Ugly mess to the right. I don't know. So Let's I taking a look at it, making sure everything's all settled down? David, you going directly into the three pin or you going to the left of it? I'm going to go to a little bit to the, uh, well, to you the want left to, and try yeah. to... Spray the wood over to the yep, seven, yep. yeah. Holla, holla, player. Ooh, ooh. Oh, and he goes right Dead through on. it. Dead punched on. Punched it. Punched it. Punched it. So that's what you call people in Candle Pin Bowling. A 60-foot straight ball. <laughs> and who would ever thought the seven and the ten would have gone down on that? It's can open bowling, people. I have no answer. Let's see what okay, Casey McCool. First box. Second string. Wide right. Leaves the one, two, seven, eight. Helpful wood. Got to attack the head pin, Casey. Uh, you know, yeah. He's wide now. As soon as he left his hand. I think nerves are getting to him. Yeah. Well, we can still pull off a 10 box here. Maybe. 
Oh, All right, well, so Dennis would normally say at this point in time that we have 963 views on wow. YouTube or, um, right? Or, oh! Not, excuse me, 900, 925 subscribers. Very so good. hopefully we can hit a thousand subscribers by the end of season seven. In case you get to spare. We will. I have confidence. Um, I can't do everything that Dennis does on this thing because I got too much stuff going on, so I apologize. Um, normally Dennis would be here. He'd be running through everything and uh, your questions and responses and stuff like that. So you'll have to wait. <laughs> Another head pin hit for Aaron. Look at this mess. The champ is just turning it on, man. That's all I gotta say. He, he, you know, he may have been, he requalified and may have been the fifth seed, but I think he was just laying in the wings. Two, four, seven, ten. No, white. Yeah. He's shooting the two, four, ten for ten points. Go for the two on the left, see what happens. Ooh, chopped a little off. A little off in the room. Okay. okay, he's gonna go over lane number four, box number four, stream number two. See if he can back on that head pin again. Two, two open marks in a row. Three swings with the pivot ball. And no, oh, oh, look at this mess. Oh, Amber, look at this, David. He one. leaves the one, two, seven. seven, nine, and ten with a piece of wood up around the two. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. Amber's having issues getting into a chair. Oh, oh the shot, shot of the night. Shot of the night. That was one, a beautiful two. shot. Instant yeah. replay, that one. Yeah, that was a nice shot. That beautiful was the shot up. of the night. Excellent, excellent cantaloupe and bowling. Up now in alley three. Working Casey, on a spare. Casey McCool, a.k.a. Curly. Right down the middle of the plate. Oh, look at this. It's a great still. ball. Five, eight, ten with wood. All around the place. I'm going the front wood, David, red line. It. Um, no, that might be kind of tough. I might go right after the five. Cool. Yeah. Wood, huh? Yeah. Right at the end. I was afraid of that because that piece, that second piece yeah. of wood, the way it was angled. Angled, yeah. Um, Casey wants to give a shout out to all his family and friends watching on YouTube. Also wants to give a shout out to his mom and dad and his grandfather, who's in the audience. Man, nice man. I got to, I got to meet him before the the show even started. Oh. If you're watching King of the Palace on YouTube or on local access or on Facebook, leave a message. Tell me where you're watching it at and where you, who you're watching it with. Share it with somebody. Let's get to 1,000 subscribers before the end of Season 7. He had the half worcester, took out 6 out of the 8. He lost the 5-6, and he's got an 8-box. He's frustrated. I, sometimes it's just not there. Well, Give a shout-out to our sponsors, North End Mazda Subaru and Lunenburg, Mass. Visit BuyNorthEnd.com or visit Marty Babino and his excellent sales staff on a new or pre-owned Mazda or Subaru. Go to YouTube. Type in Watch Me Suck At Bowling and see my good friend George do parodies on candle pin bowling, duck pin bowling, and yes, even, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to say it again, 10 pin bowling. He uh, does videos on yeah. Minecraft and all these basics in education and learning. Maybe he might be able to help me in education and learning. <laughs> And uh, also the arcade one-up, let's play games. Yeah, our good friend, Marty, our good friend, George. Where's where George always down the end? Of the George is always here. Yeah. Oh, oh, nice, nice shot by Aaron. Nice there. He's just laying wood, man, yeah. now. It's got great control of the ball, David. Yeah, great but you know what, though? Casey, Casey can come back. He's just got to stay within himself and throw the ball that he normally throws. I mean, he got into the finals for a reason. He was throwing yeah. a good ball in roll-offs. He just needs to, like, settle down. Well, after after four, Aaron's sitting at 45 and Casey's sitting at 55, so it's still a 31-pin difference, but Ooh. Oh. all he needs is a few marks. See, that's the one thing that I've always said. Every time somebody throws the ball down the middle of the plate and they celebrate, nine times out of ten, they don't get the strike. Just saying. 
Well, what do you mean? Celebrate thinking they're going to get the strike? Oh, yep. with the ball before it hits the head pin. Okay, yep. well, that's a fair assumption. You know, I, I've seen it too many times. That's why you never see, whenever, whenever you see me bowl, if I throw a strike, I never hop up and down unless it's a third strike. Well, why the third strike? Because third, getting three strikes in a row are hard. Well, it wasn't two strikes in a row hard? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so why don't you jump up and down on the third, second strike? Because you want that third one. Well, that, yeah, one didn't. Now, what would happen if you got a fourth strike? Um, He's done it before. I've seen it. Yeah. Do a handstand? Uh, I'm he old. Did, he didn't do a handstand. Yeah. Yeah. Cotwheel? Casey fall on, down. Casey on up on alley three. <laughs> Notice that he changes the subject, Gamba. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Casey uh, just needs to make that small adjustment. Oh, oh. Moved That's a little. That's all he does. Just needs to make that small, small adjustment. Yeah, he's going to get the head pin more. Yeah, I don't know. I have a feeling this wood's not going to help him very much. This is, actually, this is actually not that all that bad. No, he's got to get the head pin off. No. Yeah, got away from him. It's actually not all that bad of a shot. If, if he would have um, probably hit the head pin just a little bit off to the right, it probably all would have taken it. It's all right, just shake it off and reset and forget, kid. What do we got, Amber? Casey is my favorite stooge. I'm waiting for him to even up. There you go. Just a bit off. We, no, Four just, horsemen left. It's just a small adjustment, and he's all over it. <clears throat> Leaves the four horsemen, the one, two, four, seven. No wood on the deck. Ooh. Just a bit off it. Dropping the shoulder. Whoa. Ooh. Don't, <laughs> Don't hurt it. Hurt it. That was another classic example of possibly the impossible right man. But you hit the pin with the ball and the pin doesn't go down. Yeah, all Casey needs is one break. After six, Aaron's sitting at 71, Casey's at 73. It's 39 point lead for Aaron right now. It's still not out of the realm for Casey. It's not, it's still definitely possible, but it's gotta definitely turn something on. Oh boy, look at this split. The 210. You know, he's had a couple splits, though, that I didn't think he'd make and blew him right out of the water. Well, the five, so. pin, the five pin or two boxes ago. That was the shot of the, the match so far. Okay, here he goes. He's not this one's Sometimes heavy. you just need to have a little bit of fun with it. Is he going to the left of the hit? The two pin? He is. Oh, oh. Just missed. I think he was intending to do that. Okay, he's let's see what happens. probably trying to hit the wood. Yeah. Let's see what happens here for 10 bars. He hit the wrong wood. It's on the right side. All right, all right. He's leaving the door open for Casey, that's for sure. Lane number four, box number eight, screen number two for the champion. And here he goes. And he oh, wide right. To, wow, leaves the, the high-low jack with a joker. And oh a couple of uh, gestures on the deck. The one, four, seven, ten, and a whole two pieces of wood no. up against the you go four, and then you gotta go to the left out. of the head yeah. pin. No, nope. he tried. He tried. He just missed the head pin. Leaves the finger of God. I feel a little off because usually there's chocolate chip cookies around here and well let's yeah. just face it, no Marianne yeah. today. Marianne. That's a little disheartening. Alright, Casey McCool up on alley three. Let's see if he can't like uh set it, forget it, and turn on some juice, because let's face it, Aaron left a big He's got opening. the door open. He's got two open boxes. You start with a mark right here. Striker of spare helps him out. Get that head pin. Wow. Half Worcester left. Well, we've seen it already in this match by one of them. It's pretty when it goes. My favorite shot. There it goes. Ooh. Almost. almost. Wiggle, wiggle. That's the way I would have played it. Well, he's left a three, five, nine for 10 box and ooh. Oh. All right, Casey. Now's your time, man. You're not out of it yet. Fire the ball. Lane number four, box number eight, string number two, Casey McCool. Staying pretty even with there in this game. The problem is, is he has all the ground from the first game to make up. Yep. 
four of Hoshman left, plus the ten. Very difficult. Or is it the nine? nine? The nine, the clearing. I'm I wonder sorry. if um, I wonder if Aaron took his foot off the gas a little bit. Well, Maybe. You, you still attack on the head pin. Well, sometimes it's always better to leave a little bit in the tank. Oh, oh that, that was a nice pickup. Nice shot for ten. That oh. was a nice ball. That that might be the ball that he needed. Okay, coming nice up ball. to the last two boxes. Last two boxes, Aaron sitting at 88, Casey's at 90. Casey's uh, still 39 pins down. Let's see who's yeah. going to Who's going to advance? If he gets a mark here, it might be just a ball well, over. Yeah, if he gets a mark here, Casey can't win, even if he gets four strikes yeah. in a row. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Man, but look at this. I, right? I, I see it, Steve. How, how does I that happen? It. A spread eagle throws the ball 60 feet down the alley, Hits this object, and what happens, Amber? He gets penalized. I've been waiting for almost the whole season to hear that. Oh. The only game in the world where you hit your object and get penalized. We all for tried it. to duplicate it while you were. I tried. No, 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 while you were recovering, I tried. we couldn't. Okay. I tried to get my inner Steve out, and it just didn't work. Right, we tried it. Right. It's patented. It's patented. <laughs> <laughs> the most frustrating thing for a can open bowler. My Eight bucks for Aaron. Oh, wait a minute, Dave. I've asked that before. Is it more frustrating to get a half whistle or miss a single pin spare? What all would? For you. <coughs> miss a single a half pin spare, maybe? Uh, no, a spread eagle fill on a spread eagle on a fill or oh. missing a single pin spare with no wood. Uh, and this time he throws the same ball and drops it. Missing a single pin spare. Yeah, because it adds more to your total, yeah. Beautiful ball. It looked like to me it was the same ball well, I left it. This might be a little ball. bit. This might be a little hard. This is not an easy pickup at all because he's got that wood hanging, Mo, the angle just right out of the gutter, away from it, and then he's got the other two pieces of wood. Where Mo, the, what if he goes after the two on the left and skin it? That's no. a tough cut. Or you throw it in the gutter. Yeah, yeah. All right, so well, you can still get a ten bucks. He actually left the door open a little bit for Casey. Casey's actually gonna have to drop a bomb first ball. He needs to up. drop a few of them. Yeah, he needs a minimum. To do anything. Minimum. A triple strike, right? Yeah. Door is open. Casey's first ball will tell it all, man. This is where he's gonna have to his uh he's gonna have to channel Mo, Larry, Curly, he and needs, Shemp. Yeah, he needs a triple. Needs a triple, that's it. That's all it is to it. He just needs to open up just you you work on one. That's the best thing that you can do. Just fire off at the first one. Well take a little extra time here. It's one. Oh, oh see? See? Fuck. I told you. Yeah. You celebrate what happens. Okay. And then you said it yourself. You know, I never, picked one. Up, I never picked up on that, good buddy. Never have. But I know I got it. That's, that's, oh, that that's, is it. The yep. returning champ, Aaron Fontaine, has defeated Mr. Casey McCool. And we'll go on next week to face a whole something totally different that we haven't seen on King of the Palace since... Uh, I don't know when that we're going to have, Amber, a woman. I know. I'm so excited. We made the cut. It's going to be ex spectacular. It's going to be a lot of fun to call. Um, it's going to be nice There's to... The There's strike. a strike. There it is. Yeah. He's appealing to the bowling gods. There Why it is. Why didn't it happen sooner? It's can't open bowling, people. Well, David, I got to take... Oh, Hang good. on. Sorry, David. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Let's go boy. over the scores just while he's throwing his last few balls here. We've got Aaron. He had nine spares throughout the two strings. Ended with a 246. Casey on his first ball. Oh. Oof. Casey ended up with one strike. And three spares. Yeah. Let's see what he ended with. He ends with a 118 with a total of 218. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for tuning in and watching the King of the Palace. We've just seen Aaron Fontaine defeat Mr. Casey McCool. I want to thank our sponsors, North End Mazda Subaru and Lindbergh Mass. Also, watch me suck at bowling. Um, I also want to thank the OEPD and FATV for all they do for uh, the KOTP. And, uh, <laughs> and, and I also thank all the viewers from YouTube and on local access. 
Thank you very much for tuning in. Now, let's get to the 11th box with me. Welcome back, everyone, to the King of the Palace. This is the 11th box. Dennis is in here. He's home celebrating his daughter's birthday. Happy birthday, Haley. Um, I'm here with the returning champ, Mr. Fontaine. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. You know, I got to say, you just laid waste the first round, the first game, and that set the pace, and you just had to coast you know, um, Casey was trying, and you just buried it. Yeah, he was trying. Um, you know, for me, I was just bowling against the pins the whole match. You know, that, that's all that matters to me. I'm not focused really on the match. I'm just focused on not having fun and just hitting the pins. Just bowl against the pins. That's the name of the game for me in this game. Yeah, and if Dean was here, he'd be like, throw the ball, let the pins fall. I know that's 20 bucks 20 or bucks. something like that, because I guess he's supposed to copyright <laughs> that kind of crap or whatever. <laughs> but if that was the case, then I'd be copywriting... How does that happen? Because Steve would have made me millions by now. <laughs> but um, next week, you have a new competitor. Mm -hmm. For the first time ever, there's going to be a female that you're facing. Your thoughts? Uh, hey, hey, listen, anybody can make the show. I mean, I'm glad both men and women can make the show. And, uh, you know, anybody can, that can make the show has to bowl good. And, you know, Kat's a good bowler, and she bowled good, and that's why she's here. So I'm looking forward to the match. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for tuning into the King of the Palace. We'll see you next week on the King of the Palace where the champ faces Cat. Have a good night.